30 lakh is the size of the Ukrainian population, 3 million people, uh, which I'm, I'm coming from Delhi now, I live in South Delhi, uh, the population of South Delhi is 3 million, so it's easy to tell to people how big my uh, country is, but nevertheless, out of these uh, 3 million people, uh, more than 40% have university level education, uh, almost 90% speak at least one foreign language and 60% speak two foreign languages, which predominantly are English and Russian. Uh, so that helps a lot for people who want to do business or other cultural interactions between European countries and uh, countries in the East, like Russia, Ukraine or Belarus. Uh, and also, these people, which is important to mention in India, are very sympathetic to India. Uh, why? Because there is entire national mythology in Lithuania built on the concept that our national language, Lithuanian language, comes from Sanskrit. Uh, we have, uh, I know, I have already discovered during my almost three years here in India at least 56 words which are identical in Lithuanian and more than Hindi. So, well, just a few uh, examples, if, if you wish. When we address to God, we say Devas, uh, and in Hindi you say Dev. Uh, when you see a wedding chariot in, in, in Hindi, it is called Shadi Karat, right? And we say Rate, uh, it means exactly the same. We say Vayas, uh, and in Hindi we say Vayu, for, for wind. We say shaka, and uh, in Hindi we say shaka to, to mean a French. Uh, so entire uh, layer of, of, of linguistic layer spanning across the different fields of human life, be it body parts or, or, or daily activities, household utensils, uh, everywhere you would find words which 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 not only have set the uh, same root but also are very much recognizable even today. So from this perspective for Lithuanian, when he meets an Indian person, he always thinks that this is my dis my distant cousin coming coming from very far abroad country. So finally I've met him and I will try to speak to him in our ancient language. Of course, uh, time has changed and, and, and languages have developed a lot, but, but the sympathy it, it is, still, is still here and, and, and it helps a lot when, when you want to build relations between India and Lithuania. The same happens in, here in, in India. India is a really very big country, so when you travel across and then you meet somebody and then start quoting these examples, it generates such a positive momentum that, that, that it would be really a mistake not to use it and, and not to use it for building a better relations between our countries. And one more thing which Lithuania has uh, and that is very proud of is, is, is the environment, the ecology of, of, of the environment, because it's one of the cleanest countries uh, in India. how people will react, because there are many less people. So whichever location you find, it can be used for your purpose. Reason which, which perhaps could be quoted, there's much, much less Indians in Lithuania. So if a big Bollywood star travels there, it doesn't create the site of excitement. And I would never think it was a special yeah. right? because Commander Chaudhary is a person whom everybody knows in Lithuania, starting from the elaborate picture of of Lithuania, and it is my pride and honor to introduce Adam Milda Lekuta, who represents a leading production house in Lithuania. Morning production, Milda, the floor is yours. Thank you. Well, I will start with a, with a bit sentimental introduction, and uh, this introduction is on behalf of my generation. Uh, we grew up in Soviet Union when actually um, there was no experience. When, when in 1980, 85, we had a call from a local uh, so-called company. All these cinemas, every time there were screening Indian films, they were full of people. So on behalf of my generation, I would like to thank Indian filmmakers for that experience. It really changed our childhood. Thank you. So, now very shortly, have a look. Uh, would, 
bottom of the bills for the Estonian and Lithuania. Uh, I saw uh, there is one person who actually shot a film in Lithuania, and I see you at the back, and uh, he could tell about his experience. But I'm sure that we could have more of films from India. We know we we know a lot about uh, working. Probably I cannot see differences, but probably you have your own particularities, bringing more food to Lithuania. But I see no reason why Bollywood uh, should avoid coming to Lithuania. We we have uh, same same thing that uh, Bucharest or Budapest does. So why travel to even further and uh, pay more money? Come to visit us. What was the Irfan Khan thing actually? Like what, the, what was what shoot was that? Irfan Khan. Uh, he was. Uh, it was a Japanese production, and uh, they they are still they, the movie is not released yet. But uh, they are very strict about making public announcements. Announcements. So I'm not uh, entitled to really talk more about that. But it was a Japanese film that was shot uh, at the end of last year. You said there are four seasons in Japan. So which is the best uh, season to shoot? And as Ifan also mentioned, that it's very hot that time when you are shooting. It's not so hot like here. <laughs> but uh, we have, uh, actually, you know, with global warming, these four seasons, they are changing their boundaries, if I may say so. Uh, the best season starts probably like uh, middle of April, when you have like plus 17, sometimes. I don't know what, uh, how this April will look like, but from April to October, it's really a perfect season to work for, for probably for you. But we, we have people coming from really warm countries to work in winter, it depends what they need. But just winter again. Before we used to have like three, four months of winter. Now it's just we have snow for six weeks or seven weeks, and this is it. So I would say from April to end of October, and October is uh, September, October, very beautiful, colorful, colorful trees and it's yeah. really beautiful. Since uh, your winter is uh, been shorter, and you have mentioned that there's an artificial. Uh, snow kind of thing you have done that. What is that actually? Can you address that? Uh, yeah. This is basically for skiing, made for, for, for public skiing, but uh, we have artificial snow arena, which is under the roof, the big, big uh, building. And uh, it depends again what you need, but uh, for this artificial snow, we don't have it in, let's say, when we have plus 25 outside. We need uh, around zero degree to create the snow and to keep it there. Uh, my name is Mukesh Bhatt. I am a film producer and also the president of the Film Producers Guild of India. Uh, at the moment, I'm shooting in Bucharest. I'm shooting in Romania. I feel the shoot is going on. And I'm shooting at minus 20 degrees. So it's, uh, it, it depends on what kind of scripts you need. I'm making a supernatural film, so I need the snow and I need that kind of an uh, ambiance to create the magic for a supernatural film. But uh, having said that, you've got four seasons. If, uh, Europe, is, Europe is a beautiful continent. And to be a part of any virtual location like this would be a dream for we Indian filmmakers to come uh, and shoot there. But what I would like to say is that uh, uh, very important is that you create uh, a window for us to come. And just seeing this doesn't help. We need to go there and feel it give us the comfort zone. We need to create some kind from the government because uh, there's a famous saying, wherever Bollywood goes, tourists follow. So my humble request to you would be to your uh, government chair, Dr. Lazarus here, Mr. Prime Minister was here today, but I've told him that, that, you know, we are the guild, the most active and the most uh, strongest uh, film producer body. We can facilitate uh, to send our key members to, to see complications there. See see what you have to offer, put it on a guild site. And 
that will convert into actual things happening. Or else, this is a beautiful evening, we have met each other, and once we go out, everything will be lost. So I don't want to, I, this, I appreciate this initiative taken by you and all of you. I welcome this. And uh, we as film makers, we are dream merchants, we send dreams. And we'd love to come to as many beautiful places. Help us to capture your beauty and show it to the world. Every fifth person walking on this planet is Indian. What can be a better marketing place than Bollywood movies for the tourists to come? Even a, a fraction of the people who see our movies, just like to come to your country, you will have a problem to create an accommodation for them. So, I, the only way to take this forward is to give legs to it by inviting important people from the guild who are a, who are very active producers of the biggest production companies are guild members. So we'll facilitate a PC you will have Kulbeet Bakkar. He can be of great uh, assistance in terms of coordination and how we can take this forward to make this beautiful country destination. Because if you ask anybody now, I'll be very honest even I didn't know where this country was situated. I just said where is it please? And somebody had to say it's close to Poland and Austria. So you need to come on the world map. Yeah. We, uh, uh, I'll tell you a really interesting incident. Uh, we shot a lot of films in Mauritius. Till one fine day, I met uh, somebody from Seychelles. And uh, it's a beautiful uh, country, small country, south of the equator. This is about Mauritius and Madagascar.